What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18 beta 8 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple released the 8th beta for iPadOS 18, watchOS 11, which is not out currently but it will be coming soon, macOS Sequoia, tvOS 18, and visionOS 2. And we did also see the third beta for iOS and iPadOS 18.1 and macOS Sequoia 15.1. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS 18 beta 8. So you can see the size of this update came in at just 312 megabytes on my 15 Pro Max. So a very small size, just as expected, because we're not expecting any major changes here. So let's check out the new build. So if we go to our settings, general, about iOS version, the new build number is 22A5350A. So back to back A builds, which indicates as expected that we are going to see the RC release next and as far as the modem firmware that is unchanged with beta 8 so it remains at 2.16.06 on the iphone 15 series all right so now what's new here in ios 18 beta 8 and the first thing i noticed is inside of the spotlight search and i noticed that we now have dark mode icons in more places so before in ios 18 beta 7 and also ios 18.1 beta 3 the latest 18.1 release we do not have this either but here in 18 beta 8 you can see that for suggestions the safari icon is in dark mode and if we go down to notes you can see the notes icon is dark now in beta 8 same with under websites and also for tips so the tips icon is now dark so you'll see this throughout the spotlight search the dark mode icons are more prevalent now than they have been in beta 7 and previous betas also in the spotlight search if you search for something in settings it now gives you an explanation of what that section in settings is so it shows for the top hit right here it will now say a description underneath so for privacy and security for example you can see before it just didn't say anything it would just show you that section in settings but now it says the privacy and security setting is in the ios settings app and then it continues with that and if we tap on go it will take us into that section now speaking of dark icons if your dark icons were reset after updating you can just go ahead into the edit section and go to customize and then just switch it back from light to dark mode and they should go back to all being in dark mode i've noticed that people have had issues with the dark mode icons being reset after updating if you had the recent emojis bug that should be fixed here with beta 8 so for some devices that i had on beta 7 the recent emojis just would not update it wouldn't actually show the emojis that were frequently used it would just stay as the default but now with beta 8 that has been resolved and i didn't even have to use these emojis again they just started showing up properly in the frequently used tab right here and i noticed that we have a new animation when going in and out of playlists on ios 18.1 beta 3 and i was hoping to see that in ios 18 at beta 8 but we do not have that. So that might just be an 18.1 change to the animations. I've also noticed that with beta seven and beta eight, we have this send a check-in pop-up inside of messages. So this is not a new feature, but for some reason it keeps popping up in at these latest betas. Also in the cellular settings, if you go to cellular data options and then into voice and data, more carriers are starting to see the 5G standalone toggle. So I talked about this last week in Apple Weekly, and I talked about how it was enabled by default and it looks like that has not been fixed it's still enabled by default after updating to the latest version even if you turned it off beforehand so hopefully Apple fixes that for the RC and unfortunately in the phone application the call button is still missing on the recents tab so now if you press on somebody's name right here it will call them so before in previous iOS 18 betas we had the icon over here to the right to you know prevent an accidental call uh, from the recents tab so unfortunately that has not been added I thought that was a bug but apparently Apple just decided to remove that functionality the control center seems to be very smooth and solid here in beta 8 so we've had several issues with the control center throughout the ios 18 beta cycle but it seems rock solid here in beta 8 however my pages that disappeared previously are not showing up so those just disappeared into the abyss and just never returned which is pretty funny but uh yeah everything feels fine here in the control center however we still do not have a standalone 
Wi-Fi option in here. And as far as RCS on additional carriers, I would not expect iOS 18 beta 8 to add any additional carriers there. I think at this point, it's really just on your carrier to push out an update and allow for RCS if they don't already have it. And speaking of server side, we also had an update today in the wallet application. If you tap on the plus and go to driver's license or state ID, Hawaii was just added. So now if you live in Hawaii, you can now add your driver's license to Apple Wallet and use it at TSA and potentially other places as well. So really nice to see that. And now we have a total of six states. Hopefully that doubles in the next few months because I'm patiently waiting on that in Florida. Now taking a look at the release notes, these are exactly the same as the beta 7 release notes. So nothing has been adjusted in beta 8 that was not there in beta 7. So I would expect to see some additional bug fixes and some changes in the release notes for the RC build, but there's nothing changed here with beta 8. Now as far as the performance goes, I did go ahead and run a Geekbench test and we scored a 28.59 on the single single core and a 7082 on the multi-core. So not bad. And performance overall feels great to me. I mean, beta seven felt great as well, but beta eight feels very smooth here, which is expected when we're about to see the final release of iOS 18. So no complaints there. And when it comes to the battery life, battery life has also impressed me. I mean, I've had a much better experience on iOS 18.0 compared to iOS 18.1. So I would expect the battery life to continue to be solid with iOS 18 at beta eight. I don't think we're going to see any type of major improvement from beta seven, but we could see a small bump, a minor adjustment with the RC release in a couple of weeks. But if you had battery drain issues, don't expect those to be fixed here with beta 8. You might have to wait for the RC for that. So let's go ahead and talk about it. When can we expect to see iOS 18 RC and also the public release? So next week will be September and man, time flies. So I do not think we're going to see an iOS beta release next week on the week of September 2nd. I do think we're going to see the iOS 18 RC after the Apple event. So typically Apple releases the RC version of their next major software release on the day of the Apple event, usually shortly after it. So if that holds true, we should be seeing iOS 18 RC on Monday, September 9th, which is the day of the iPhone 16 event. And then after that, we could see an additional RC later in the week. That's a possibility, but we should be seeing the final public release of iOS 18 on or around September 16th. Apple typically releases these on Monday, so I think the 16th is a good bet. And then after that, we should be seeing iOS 18.1 get released in late October. I would say maybe the week of October 21st or the week of October 28th, but we'll have to wait and see on that. That's still over a month away. But anyways, that is iOS 18 beta 8. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS 18 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.